Our next cruise is featuring five-star modern luxury with Celebrity Cruises. It's a company that I've cruised with many times and I'm cruising with them again in July. Our cruise is going to feature, it's called Temples, Dragons and Beaches. That's all I'm going to say so far. We have got an amazing price on this. But before we go into details of this cruise, our lovely Keith is not with us today because he's actually on board a celebrity ship right now, the Eclipse in the Fjords. Now, we're going to speak to him live from the ship right now. There will be a small delay, so bear with us. But Keith Maynard, are you there in the middle of the Fjords? <laughs> I'm here, Sean. Can you hear me? <laughs> Hello, matey. Uh, lovely to have you. Justin's with me on the sofa as well. How's the celebrity cruise going then, Keith? Uh, Sean, Justin, it's at absolutely amazing it really really is i'm having such fun um i've uh, just been up in the spa and i've had my teeth whitened and i've had a full <laughs> wax <laughs> I'd, I'd heard you'd had a bit of lipo there keith <laughs> i know i'm gonna get i'm gonna get some of that botox you always told me about sean <laughs> no seriously <laughs> um are you impressed with the ship keith really really am i mean you know we talk about modern luxury with celebrity cruises and uh, the Eclipse is absolutely superb. The staff are so friendly. And the thing I've been so impressed with is the quality of the food. Not just the fact that there's 10 different dining options, but it's when you go up to the buffet, and the, the quality of the food in the buffet alone is so good that you actually don't want to eat anywhere else. And yet there's another nine restaurants to try. It's absolutely incredible. And last night we ate in the Tufts Grill, um, and we had some beautiful, beautiful uh, pasta and steak. And it was absolutely, the meal took three hours. It was that yeah. good. And, and Keith, I know you're there with your dad as well. How's he getting on? My dad's first ever cruise. He's 76. And, uh, yeah, he's absolutely loving it. We, we got off today in Allison. And we, we went and explored. And at the moment, we're just now sailing into Galangafjord, where we're going to be arriving tomorrow. But he's having the absolute time of his life. Yeah. And, of course, we meet loads of people from the show. And I, get, I can't go anywhere. It takes me about an hour to get from one side of the ship to the other side. <laughs> people stopping and saying how much they love the show. Um, they all say hello to you, Sean. Oh, and they also say, nice. Sean, that I look a lot slimmer in real life. <laughs> Not after all that pasta. Yeah. <laughs> that was going to be my question. Um, I've been in the gym every morning. Oh, bless you. Do you know, Keith, it's, it's lovely to, to talk to you. Um, I know, you, you know you're having a great time, and uh, we look forward to hearing more stories when you return. Thank you, mate. Absolutely. You know, uh, carry, on, carry on with the good work, chaps. I look forward to seeing you soon. And just a very quick note, just to announce, that I don't know if people are aware back in the UK, but the Celebrity Eclipse has just been voted best ship sailing from the UK for 2015 for the third year running. Again? It certainly gets my vote of the prize. Wow. Well, Keith, I certainly agree with that vote. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week, mate. Yeah, you take care, mate. Look after yourself. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Keith there uh, on board Celebrity. Honestly, I, I knew that he'd be having a great time. I thought we were going to lose it there for a second. I did. <laughs> I did as well. Uh, anyway, we, 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 we better move on because this is a celebrity cruise as well. They are winning so many awards. This cruise, though, it starts off with a flight over to Singapore. Um, and we're going to include two nights in a five-star hotel, aren't we? I, I can't emphasise this enough. Apart from the brand, apart from the ship, this is such a popular cruise. Get on the phones and book this one yeah. early. You can see that we're a number one agent for celebrity. Um, Singapore is a great way to start off, and the fact that you've got a five-star stay in Singapore, there's so much to do. You've got the old versus the new. Fantastic shopping, uh, and some of the hotels and locations are just superb. If you like your Formula One as well, you've got the Marina Bay Circuit of there course, as well, and of course yeah. the Marina Bay Hotel. You've got three columns like skyscrapers, and at the top, um, you've actually got this beach resort that they've managed to play place up. You can see it there. I saw um, it. Just absolutely amazing. So I'm Singapore, amazing that you've got two nights there. I'm actually going to be on a celebrity cruise in November taking me to Singapore, so I cannot wait. Uh, now, then you embark this absolutely stunning five-star modern ship, the Celebrity Millennium. And for those of you that wonder why do celebrity win so many awards, well, have a look at this. This gives you a real taster of what celebrity is like. And honestly, the ships, the staff, the service, truly magnificent. With exceptional levels of service and a crew to guest ratio of 1 to 2 and well designed and easy to navigate ships and a decor that's both sophisticated and contemporary, 
This is a cruise line who offer a very real sense of modern luxury. Celebrity cruises have always pushed the boat out when it comes to dining. Not just in the sheer choice, but also the quality of the food that they offer. Experience savour menus pairing classic and contemporary selections from casual alfresco dining through to the stunning main dining room. And of course, there's an appetising range of quirky, excellent speciality restaurants. Matching a bar to your mood is what celebrity does best. And there's a great range of beverage and wine packages offering great value. You can top up the tan while enjoying a margarita by the pool, or use your sea pass card and help yourself to another great glass of vino in Cellar Masters. You can soak up the sounds of the big band in the passport bar, or try one of the 64 craft beers available on board. My favourite, though, has to be here at the Molecular Bar, where tasting the work of the liquid chef will engage all your senses. Life on board Celebrity Cruises is an opportunity for you to enjoy your holiday just as you want it. From relaxing by the pool with a good book to a whole host of exhilarating and unique experiences, the choice really is yours. Cooking competitions, mythology classes, dance and language classes, informative lectures and behind the scenes access to the inner workings of a modern day cruise ship. When the sun sets, celebrity ships come alive with a dazzling selection of bars, lounges, nightclubs and casinos. You can relax with a cocktail, meet new friends, take to the dance floor or hit the casino tables. But keep an eye out for the interactive theme parties. You may even find dancers in exquisite costumes suddenly appear to entertain you. There's West End style theatre shows, dance, comedy, magic, music and an extraordinary front row seat waiting just for you. On a celebrity cruise, luxury comes as standard. There are six different varieties to choose from and over 85% have a private balcony. The design is smart, fresh and contemporary and all offer a great range of sumptuous amenities such as fluffy bathrobes, deluxe toiletries, Egyptian cotton bed linen and 24-hour complimentary room service. From comfortable inside staterooms to these gorgeous suites which feature floor-to-ceiling windows, panoramic balconies and your very own private butler. Trust me, once you've unpacked, you won't ever want to leave. I'm getting cruise envy. Keith always seems to be on board a celebrity ship now. Um, but I know, Justin, you're, you're really you know, dying to talk through all of the wonderful ports because this is a, a really exciting itinerary, isn't it's, it? It's a great itinerary. It's an experience as well, but I'm never going to do it justice in the time we've got. You've just got to go to experience yeah. this. First port, you're going into Bali and you've got two nights here on board. Now, one of the nice things about this is, I don't know about you, Sean, but you know when you see all these youngsters going off to this part of the world and doing backpacking tours, it's almost we can do this now in our, in our twilight years. <laughs> a little bit more grown up, a little bit more sophisticated in modern luxury and the safety <laughs> of a cruise ship. twilight years, <laughs> but yeah. I'm speaking for myself there. <laughs> but the great thing about this part of the world is it's so laid yeah. back. All I'd say is all you need is your t-shirt, your shorts yeah. and your flip-flops because there is so much to see and do oh. here. Um, of course, Bali, you've got that wonderful sort of spiritual side with some of the temples, and it's just a beach haven. Remember, this is where they filmed some of the actual parts for, you know, so many films, so many adverts. Um, you just see beautiful white sand beaches and crystal blue waters. And it's so nice that you get two really good nights on board there. Now, mm. a very special island next. Yeah, all I'm going to say is book your tours. The only way to do this port, and to be honest, this is a rarity because the only way to get here really is to cruise into Komodo Island. Of course, this is the famous home, the natural inhabitat of the Komodo dragon. Now, if you've seen Skyfall um, and the two dragons that are in the casino, this is the guys. Now, when you actually go on the tours, you will actually see, you know, they're not in a, a zoo, they're not behind any cages or any fences. You will have guides, local guides, and what they actually do is they feed the dragons the day before you do the, uh, the actual tour so they're not hungry, because these are wild animals. You will see them up close. That experience alone wow. is one of the best reasons. And look at that beach. Oh, well, you've then got several days at sea. Enjoy the five-star modern luxury uh, that you will get, of course, with Celebrity. And it's Phuket, isn't it, next? Yeah, and again, this is just a fantastic place. All I'll say is go and see what all the fuss is about. I shall leave it there. It's an experience. <laughs> uh, when they say about one night in Bangkok, forget that. <laughs> um, if you come back in one piece, uh, good luck. Um, then we're on to Malaysia, and this is a fantastic place. Uh, it's where they shot The Man with the Golden Gun. So if you remember Roger Moore um, and the fantastic Lulu soundtrack, this yeah. is where they actually filmed it. Now, the actual place that you're going to be going to, Lang Kwai, there's a, a lovely old story. Um, there was a daughter of a couple who actually moved there from Phuket, um, and it was believed that she was actually having an affair 
and it wasn't the case. And when she was actually killed by the villagers, she cursed the island. Now, there was seven years of bad luck, and then after that, it lifted. And there's this wonderful vibrance, and this, you know, if you do like the sort of wow. stories behind places... Yeah, I've never heard that. It's just fantastic. I I don't know whether you saw the actual bridge there. The cable car ride is definitely a tour to do. Uh, and then Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur. Um, it's, it's a little bit of a ride from the actual port into Kuala, Kuala Lumpur. But Petronas Towers, you've got to do it. If you, and all I'd say is get there because they're quite strict about the times. Again, another reason why you should book your tours when you book your cruise with Planet Cruise. Uh, you can get to go on the Sky Bridge. Um, the actual shopping is fantastic in there. And it's also got one of the largest mosques. Um, in this particular area. It's a really unique design. It's like an umbrella um, and beautiful colours. Uh, and then, of course, uh, back to Singapore where you disembark on your flight over to the UK. And remember, um, you will be cruising with Celebrity, multi-award winning. You know, if you've maybe experienced full star and you're looking for that next level, this is five star. Um, Amazing. I love the stones. I love the design as well. Um, and all I've got to mention, yeah, all of your onboard gratuities are included. And when you're, you know, away for this length of time, that would really, really save you a lot of money. All your turn flights, of course, as well. And two nights, don't forget, in Bali as well. Uh, for those of you asking about prices for ocean views or deluxe balconies or concierge, we've got a little uh, pricing slide to show you right now. And you can see there. Um, Actually, it's really worth it. If you're going to on the 19th of November, it's definitely worth that extra £100 to go for the ocean view and maybe even the balcony. Now, I've um, been lucky to... I've actually cruised down with somebody several times. I've had different staterooms, but I have had occasionally the concierge class as well, and there are so many extras. So, again, really worth asking about what concierge could mean for you.